medical conditions are frankly atrocious, as is some of the language. P Company, this week's Cutting Edge. Okay, listen then. Good morning. Welcome to P Company. Welcome to Depot Power. Outside the various selection courses for the various elements of special forces, this is arguably the hardest course in the British Army. You are here to be assessed for your suitability. These soldiers forces. are volunteers from different units of the British Army. Gunners, signalers, engineers. They have one ambition in common, people. to be they selected for parachute training people. and join the Airborne job. Brigade. Any man here who we suspect is going to prove a liability to the survivability and efficiency of our battalions will not pass this course. Points to note, okay, we do not run a quota system here. If every man here is up to the standard, then every man will pass. If no man here is up to the standard, then every man will fail. If you need any advice or guidance, speak to the P Company staff, okay? They are here to get the best out of you. Remember, it is a test. It is not supposed to be easy. Stick with it. Work hard. Get up. Work, 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 work. Catch him up, you're being idle. You're being idle, let's start working. Catch him up, catch him up, catch him up. A change. Bend the knees, not the back. Bend your knees, not your back. Bend your shaggy knees. Listen to me. You're bending your back twice as much as you're bending your knees. Now bend your shaggy knees. For these men, this will be the hardest three weeks of their lives. Most of them won't pass the course. They're of all ranks, privates, NCOs and officers. Numbers, not names. The officers are distinguished only by their white PT vests. As an officer, it's quite refreshing. Uh, I've been used to putting the, the foot on the other end of the bottom for the last four years, and uh, to be tol told now what to do is, it's great because I, I, I normally run a squadron. I'm second in command of a squadron. It's good for me to insert uh, or take out the brain and insert my physical side. Well, it's just a challenge, really. I've uh, already completed the All Arms Commando course five, six years ago, and I'm reaching the grand old age of 30, and uh, I thought, well, one more before I reach 30, really. It's a hard physical course. It requires a lot of motivation, fitness. It's a challenge, more than anything. It's a very hard challenge, and it's not many people do it. Not many people are fit enough to do it. It's what I've always wanted to do. It's what I've always had in the back of my mind. I've been trying to get here since 1985 to an airborne unit. Going right! We're right! We're right! Come on! The course is 15 days of relentless physical and mental stress. During the first phase over a fortnight, the students are brought to a peak of fitness ready for testing. Each event is designed to take the candidate to the limit of his endurance and then beyond. This hill is climbed 20 times in succession, each man carrying 43 pounds. Get up! Get up, Get up. Get up. Come on with me! Come with me! Anyone injured or unable to keep up is sent back to the medic's safety vehicle. Wipe it off, take your PT vest off. Your Each man is allowed boots. three lives. Three times on the wagon, and he's returned to unit, or RTU'd. I want to see you in the med centre. Was it painful there? Oh, yes. Yeah, a bit of swelling there. Injuries, including stress fractures, are common. The medic isn't here to dole out comfort. He's checking to see whether the man's fit to continue. What we'll do is take you off tomorrow, all right? 
that means that if it doesn't improve by Thursday, or you come off Thursday, that's your RTU'd. Let's cut out the drill, all right? Too late for that. Next. Each evening, the injured line up to see the company sergeant major. Uh, it is he who decides their futures. Um, at the end of the day, we can always run another P company. You can't have another back. All right. So you've been out to you. By the end of the second day, six students have already been returned to unit. There's a lot of people carrying injuries now, but they're not going to go sick with them because if they go sick, they're going to get binned off the course. And so what, it, what you do is, before the day starts, you pump yourself full of brufin or something like that. Because I do that because I've done my knee here now, and that's causing me a lot of troubles at the moment. And hopefully the brufin will hold it off until you finish the tab or whatever the exercise you're on. All the speed oblique endurance marches are the bread and butter of the parachute regiment and the airborne forces. The ability to cover distance carrying weight at speed is arguably one of the things that, that separate airborne forces from perhaps the rest of the, rest of the army. It is, it is one thing that, that we do, if you like, that, it, that is our forte that, that other people do not do. And I suppose it is derived through time from the need to move at speed, if you like, from a, from a dropping zone to a target. Officers, I want to see you motivating. You are not going to win unless all six of you give 100%. It is as simple as that. I would not expect to see anybody falling off the log, whimpering and missing their go. Right, this is the first time I've seen you as a squad. Impress me today. Everyone got that? Stop. You've done better. I think I have an obligation of selecting and passing people who are good enough to go and serve up there, up the battalion lines, with people that I know who are good soldiers. And it's a bit respect to them, really, as well as myself. I will not pass crap through me to go up to the top where they're going to drop out. This log run is the first team event. The officers will be closely watched for qualities of leadership. Keep it close, Hurry up. Prepare to change! Change! Cut right a bit, cut right. During the race, another casualty. Number eight, a corporal who's already passed the Royal Marines commando course, takes himself off the event. Now, we'd only been one more event today. I thought I might be able to cope with the pain. I took a few painkillers and I kept up on the log and that the first half mile or so but after that become not so much unbearable but if I went on any further I damaged it even more irreparable so far play a wild card we got two lives I'll use one of them now there are certainly occasions of, of, of people going sick frankly because dare I say it they are feeling sorry for themselves now a soldier who goes sick obviously will be checked over by the medic um, and the, the medic at the end of the day obviously needs to be able to identify an injury. If he cannot identify that injury, um, there will always be the suspicion that, that the, the student involved perhaps has, has just had enough and, and would prefer to be somewhere else. Go round, 25.05, that's good time. Come on, keep coming. That's 10, that's better, try, try, try. Only 6.05. Is bad organisation. Officers, it is no good running along the side, shouting at people who cannot hear you, and it does not make sense. Yes, sir. You should have been at the back, controlling them, organising them as a squad. Staff. It took a bloody junior NCO to sort this lot out. That is not acceptable to me. Staff, you better sort it out, sir. I'm watching. We do expect a fair amount more from the officers. Um, they are here. Um, to show leadership. They're expected to lead by example. They're expected to help the weaker members of the course and to get them through. Come on. Get up in on the 20. No, no, run in the road with him. Get him up there. And to impress upon us that they have the qualities to lead airborne soldiers. So, do you reckon the main characters will be dragging today? Aren't they? <laughs> it's gotta be number 37. He'll be here. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm amazed we've lost so many so far. We're down to 
32, 33, 32. More fun for the rest of us. Most of the students are from outside the parachute regiment. The exceptions are the regiment's own new young subalterns, recently graduated from Sandhurst. Steve and I have roughly done exactly the same. We've both been through P Company once, and uh, we both fell off the log, and as a result, being regimental officers, we can't really fail any events, and we've got to go through it again. It's got the happy experience of uh, running around these happy hills again. The pressure that, that's on us, more so than the other officers, is, is just to shine within the officers. I mean, the, the officers have to shine within the course, and the parachute regiment officers have to shine within the officers. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Right, first of all, During an early morning run, a bridge over a local canal is used as a first test of nerve. Put your arms out to the side and get going Those forward. unable to walk the girder face serious consequences. Stop shuffling and get walking. Walk one foot in front of the other. Where's he going to fall? Fall in the water. Come on! We're wasting valuable time. 17 on the outside. On the outside. Do it! Get over it! Come down, these centre plates here! Come on, come on, no, it should be all right up there now, let's start moving! Come on, 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 come Come here. Sir. What's the with you? I don't believe we're here to be in anybody's popularity stakes. We are here to select them to go on to airborne forces. Um, I, I tend to, I'd rather be more standoffish from the students. I'm approachable for them. If they've got a problem or emergency, they can come and see us, but I'm not into having uh, Jack and Ori with them. Soldiers failing to walk the girder are given a last chance to overcome their fear. At headquarters, they're put over the trainasium an aerial confidence course. Do you want to pass this course? Yes. Yes, sir. To you. Yes, sir. You. Yes, sir. Right. You'll go up there, you'll get three attempts. Once he's told you three times, if you have failed it, that is you. You will be out of this depot by lunchtime today. There is nothing for you to be afraid of up there. It is only the height of a five-story building. So smile and enjoy it. Stand by. Go! Next chance. Stand by. Go! Good well done. Good down. Jump the down, jump across. And come on down. Among the four failures is number eight, who lost a life on the log run. So don't you want to fucking do this? Do you? You Stop. do? Well, why don't you fucking do it then? Bottles. Well, bottle. let's have a fucking bit of bottle and start doing it, okay? You will have another attempt, don't you? Fucking fail this time and that is it. Get back up there. Sure. Stand by! Go! Stand by! Go! Come down! And right, double across to the Land Rover, stay there. Right, follow on you three. Onto the bars, 31. Go. No, 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 don't touch the bars. Stand up. Straighten your legs. Nice and easy. Just change the balance of your feet. Come on, don't waste all that effort. You're a fit lad. We don't want to lose you. Now, come on. Right, continue. Don't touch the bars. Stand up. Stand up. Good lad, I'd go for it. Climb down confidently. Right, come in. Right, what was your excuse on the bridge this morning? The bottle went on the bridge, sir. The bottle went on the bridge. What about the train agent? Same again, sir. I went and jumped. Again. Listen to me. I know your background, right? I know where you've come from, and I know what course you have done before. 
And I know on that course you use heights or you are up in high places. So there is no excuse for your bottle going. I will tell you what I think. I think you've come down here to get yourself out of you off this course so you can have the other two fucking weeks off resting. Alright? But I will put this to you now. There is no chance that that's going to happen. You will continue on this course until I see fit to RTU you. Do you understand? Sir. Fall out. Sir. Well, I've just done three weeks of painful training over the road on a pre para This week's been quite painful as well, or extremely painful with the ankle injury I've received. Uh, I won't go through all that just for two weeks off work. I'm sure if I put in a leave pass, I could get two weeks off work. <laughs> uh, if, if I got RTU, I'd have to report to my normal place of work tomorrow morning anyway. We wish to see, as we said when people got here, determination. And there's a lot of people here who do not have determination. They do not possess team spirit. You know, they are too content to sit back and do the minimum. Five forty-five a.m. and the last day of the week. In less than two hours, the officer commanding P Company will be here to inspect the barracks. Got well, this inspection. At half seven. Which, no matter what we do. They'll still pick it up and it'll give them an excuse to beast us because it's Friday. And they always beast you on a Friday because it's let you know that you're still on the course. I can see the point of doing the um, physical side, but the bullshit really pisses me off. It's just another form of pressure, I think, to get you to crack in another different way. Good morning. They've got to be driven to their their maximum efforts. I mean, the physical side of things is one thing, but to have the pressure on from the word go, like being assessed from the word go as soon as they get here, from the opening address till they leave, they've been assessed all the time and they know that. So they've got, always got a psychological pressure apart from a physical pressure. Well, we've got a total now, then. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Over your head. Away, away. Stand up. Right, get away and get it filled. Half a bottle is no good to you out there. Speed marching is known in the Airborne Brigade as tabbing, tactical advance to battle. From a second you start tabbing, for the first, like, mile and a half, you get severely bad shins no matter how good you are at it. It really pounds on your shins. And when you hit the, the hills, after you've done the whole along valley, it's just pain from the start to the finish. It was a, a steady pace going out there, a bit muddy once we got to Long Valley, got on the hills, I worked hard on the hills and I completed the hills, I was quite pleased, I thought a couple of miles back to camp and the weekend's mine, all fit for Monday. 
Anyway, there's like 800 metres of mud down Long Valley before we hit the path, and that's what really sat me. It's the hardest thing I've done because it was so soft on the foot, my boots were filling with mud. My legs were like lead. And uh, I was at the back of the squad, and I kept trying to keep up, but I couldn't. The staff were encouraging me all the way, just giving me the normal, you know, come on, cabbage head and all that. I tried my hardest, it just wasn't enough. Get on the wagon now. Get on the right, wagon. that's your lot. Get on the wagon. You're a fucking waste of Get on it. Get on the wagon. Don't start waving your face for embarrassment. By then, I'd used all my energy and I was completely sapped. That was my third life. I'm off the course. OK, listening then, week one over, a hard, demanding week by anybody's standards. Those of you who have come through unscathed, well done, OK? A big slap on the back, OK? You will feel the benefit of this. It is doing you good. I don't expect you to believe me, but it is, OK? Over this weekend, get plenty of food and rest. Stay off the piss. Hard. Hard it, then a big bag of hard things, it was that hard, it was a hard sub, very. I prefer to give birth to quadruples and do that again. Make sure you come up and drop this off before you shoot off. At the end of the week, number eight is finally sent okay. home. Cheers. I am going to pass the course. If it means doing the course ten times, I will pass. You know, I've no intentions of letting this course get me down. I, I will be the winner in the end. I'm going to win. Next! Pick up the numbers. 26, sir. 26, what was the problem, 26? Just fucked, sir. Just fucked. That's a fair one. OK, not a great drama, so one time on the wagon, no great problem with you so far. I'll just stop you one life on this. Go away and get yourself sorted out. Ready to rock on Monday morning. All right? Yes, sir. Good luck. Off you go. Quick, dog. <laughs> Everyone now has back sores this is the hairy bit on his, uh, caused by bottom. packs rubbing during marches. Yes, well done. This gives me shit going downhill. It's not too bad on the flat and uphill, but. Wash butt. <sighs> I've done some courses in the army that they say are, are hard. This is a harder, this is harder. I mean, I've done a, a diving course, which they say is pretty hard. But that is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and that is fact. People may think that um, things are done pretty callously down here, that there is not much sympathy afforded to the students going through the course. Uh, certainly, I think the instructors, if they came clean, would sympathise with the effort and, and the misery some of those students are going through. However, having said that, you must remember, that firstly, that everybody on the staff has been through equal misery, and secondly, uh, that, that people are, are fiercely proud of the standards uh, of soldiers in this brigade. Now, we started off with 39. We're down now to 24. And people have gone for various reasons. But all in all, um, the feeling of the staff is that there is a good hard core on this course. And okay. pessimistically, I would hope no, no less than 15 passes. Test week has begun, the final five days. 22 out of the 39 volunteers remain. Pass marks are now given, a maximum of 10 for each of 10 test events. No one will know his score, none even knows the pass mark. For the parachute regiment officers, this is the most crucial event of all. As this is the hardest event, we cannot afford to come off this as members of the parachute regiment. If I fall off this event, I'm out of the parachute regiment, simple as that. The log race, I think, is the hardest event on P Company, and it is just agony. 
the log is uh, is no little piece of wood. And the, the real killer is that you get different people with different amounts of energy at different times. So just when you're lagging, someone else might go sprinting off. Get up, everybody! Get up, number nine, come on! Get up, come on. Come on. Take your butts off now! You're knackered. There's a big hill you've got to go up. You come flying down it. out really hideously and then it doesn't get any better it just gets worse and worse as you go around the more tired you get the worse it gets the instructors want more from you, you dead. Shut up. Shut up. always shouting at you to give 100 percent 110 percent get it up get that log up now sir. And it's just like that all the way around I don't know whether it's just the feeling of having finished that um, my body said that's it, I've done it and that's, that's switched off now and I just, you know, went dizzy and sort of a bit all over the place. I think it was, um, it was lack of uh, sort of fuel really because I didn't have much to eat this morning. You go all the way with that team. You don't give up and let everybody else do it. They were absolutely chin strapped because you two fell off. Okay? It would have been a better time had you stayed there. When I say go, get away. Big relief, I go. can tell you. But I mean, it's not just an individual effort. It's down to all the people in my squad who all pulled their weight and didn't make my job carrying an eighth of the log any harder. Coming down the, the hill up there. Is, uh, is not pleasant. That's the nasty bit. And that just takes away from you a bit. Finished. Do you have any come off? No. I, well, I had Garrett and Forrest and I both come off before. Yeah. And they both stayed on. Which is unbelievable. There's none of the officers who really doing their job as officers. They're no, not, they're not. They're not encouraging the rush out. But they were actually briefed that once they get the test week, then, the, then it's just verbal encouragement. Yeah, well, that's it, and yeah. Then, yeah uh, exactly. But I mean, no pulling or tugging or anything. <clears> like there, I mean, I heard Gallup's voice once the whole, the, the whole way around. And that was only when the OC had said to him, yeah. you're coasting. Suffering an injury at the moment on the, on the foot. So I went to the lunchtime and I uh, was told not to feel sorry for myself and to carry on. <laughs> So, I was a feeling sorry for myself when I was limping. Just in agony. Number 24 decides to do the next test, the assault course, despite his injury. He knows that missing an event is a sign of a wrong attitude. What he doesn't know is he's already failed. Get past him! Come on, number nine, get past him now! Go on! The tests on test week, in isolation, perhaps are, are not all that demanding. But the whole thing about it is that it is a gradual wearing down process. It's the combination of those events all together that really take their toll on the student. Number 23 has landed badly, injuring a foot. With four days to go, his chances of doing well are now in doubt. Why? Yeah. That's why. Did you have your feet and knees together? Did you have your feet and knees together? You're calling me a liar. You didn't have your feet and knees together, did you? Okay, what you've got is a common injury in the Parsi Regiment, which is a bruised heel. All right. What I'll give you for that is some painkillers. Take some tonight. Give you some for tomorrow morning, and you'll be okay for the tub. No. My weakest day today is all the speed events. It's just not. I'm too big a bloke for to get my body down too fast, like. It's been pretty rough, really. I've done the course before, so... I've done the events before, and last time I was last in just about everything. But this time, I was up the front, so... I'm quite happy with it. It's just tomorrow I'm a bit worried about. 
do the 10 milers. I've had uh, problems with it before, so I'm just going to get out of the way, that's all. Come on, you three! Get in here, number nine! They put a lot of onus on Test Week. They um, put too much on it, I think. They psych themselves out a lot of the time. People have been doing well through the course. Um, just put too much on it and just don't produce the goods at the end of the week. This number 23. Um, I think he's been sick in the week with Ackley's tender nights. He's probably maybe split his tendon sheet on his uh, on the back of his heel. Um, he's been giving anti-inflammatories and things like that to try and keep him going. But as you can see, he's having difficulty with it. The 10 mile march must be covered in one hour, 45 minutes. Number 23 has fallen further and further behind. Eventually, he's been put on the wagon. Despite getting this far, he loses all 10 points available for the event. You're not told what the, the marks are, so that if you're giving your marks, then the, there's a possibility um, that you may not give your best in the next event because you, you'll try and average everything out. So the, the incentive is to do, best, to do your best in all the events uh, and um, therefore get a top mark. The one exception is the trainasium, a straight pass-fail test. Anyone who falters here will be returned to unit immediately. Whales at all. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Not one bit of whales, it's this. And the trick is, again, when he says go, just run, sprint as hard as you can, yeah? yeah? Don't worry about those gaps. I mean, you could fall down them, but I've never done it. OK, then, listen in. Gymnasium Aerial Confidence Course. We are looking for a number of things this morning. Obviously, we are looking for a degree of physical courage. We are looking for confidence. And equally important, we are looking for your reaction to the word of command. As soon as you get the words, carry on, continue, safely. There's Two nothing wrong whatsoever the... about being slightly perturbed about throwing your pots over this scaffolding this morning. Hold it there, Cole Bowman. Move down. However, what is important is that you must conquer that fear. You'll be told to climb the ladder by the staff that will be up there. Climb it, three points of contact all the way up. I was on the last course, uh, managed to get all the way up to test week. Uh, without any injuries, without losing any lives. And then on the Trinasium, um, I failed to jump off the losing jump. And so I was binned off the last course. So now I'm on the next one. Go! Number 11 also failed the bridge during week one. And he finds the Trinasium just as difficult the second time around. Toes. Get Only off the bars. Three stand up. Gap. Stand up straight, stand you still. You can stride three toes. foot. Up, can you forward, come. To come. To go. Number 11 is the only student to be sent home during test week. Go stand on the right hand side of the Land Rover, double away. Go! Right, don't take him off, just carry him. Carry it, get, get, in, get across any way you can. The remainder get round the course, but not all to the satisfaction of the instructors. Three of the students will be failed at the end of the week for showing lack of confidence here. OK, get up. Stand by. Next time, don't pull down the bloody rope. Right? Stop. Get over there. Go. What has happened here, quite frankly, gentlemen, is pathetic. I have stood here on about 45 occasions in the last 14 months, and I can tell you without fear of contradiction, this is without doubt the worst set of soldiers I have ever seen go over this piece of apparatus. We have 14-year-old schoolboys who come down here and do this, and I tell you something, they would put every man jack here to shame. God help us on the milling this afternoon, if that is what we're going to get again. You people better get yourself sorted out. Because as things stand at the moment, fellas, we're going to be seeing you all again in January. All that fucking effort, number 11. Unlucky. That's the See second you. time in a row, isn't it? See you next year. You're obviously a pervert. January 28th.
If not, I'm here for two years. <laughs> As far as P Company is concerned, your aim is to extract as much blood and snot out of the opposition as possible. To do that, you get two things. One is a set of boxing gloves, the other is a minute. During that minute, you are expected to show the qualities required of an airborne soldier. Who's got an officer? Have you? Ah. Remember what I said, officers aren't noses like parachute regiment soldiers, right? He's got to have a flat one like mine. Pick up my number vest. Number four, Sergeant Major. Skins. Number 27, sir. Thanks for coming. Looks up. Now! Come on, sir! Milling is a fighting test peculiar to airborne forces, designed to test controlled aggression, definitely not boxing. No points for punches landed. The prime target is the head. The panel are looking for spirit rather than physical prowess. OK, fellas, good effort. That is what we want to see. Well done, both of you. Draw. Right, I am obviously wasting my breath with you, young man, okay? It is not happening, is it? You have 15 seconds left on the clock. You better get on top of it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All you are lacking at this moment in time is a handbag. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Get on with it. Sir? Bill! Come on, Bill! Get in there! Get in there! Stop! Get up! Bill! Go on, man! Stop! Get back, sir. Stop! Get back, It is a question of controlled aggression. It is seeing a man how he will perform in, in a situation of, of physical adversity. You know, it, is, it is highly unpleasant, and some people may say it is brutal. Perhaps to the casual observer, it looks pretty excessive, and some may say unacceptable. However, you know, we are looking to assess how a soldier will react in a combat situation when it is actually coming at him the other way. So that is much of the logic behind it. For the final three days, the course moves to Wales and the Brecon Beacons. Tough terrain, longer distances. We go to Wales for a number of reasons. Um, the hills are steeper and longer, so it is harder to get up and down them. Added on to that, the distances are longer, and for many people, the distance becomes quite a mental problem. And also, interestingly enough, the climate down there is, is far more variable. The weather conditions are worse. So again, it expands this, this question of, of expecting people to perform in conditions of adversity. So if you've had problems today, you're going to have severe problems tomorrow. So what you need is a good scoff inside you tomorrow morning and some brew. All right? Regardless of the weather, it could be like the Costa del Sol up there, you still need a good hot scoff and a brew inside here before you go up that hill. The big one tomorrow is that first ridge, OK? We're looking for blokes in this brigade who can do the job. I mean, this part here in Wales is more important than the old shop phase because this is our bread and butter of what we do. A good example, the Falklands. Get down there, same sort of terrain as this. People was carrying between 80 to 120 pound on the back. And this is the job that they were doing, going over hills like that. You've got to work hard now. Come on, you've got to get up here. And these guys have got to be able to, if they're in pain, they've got to keep going through it. There's probably not one of us here that don't carry a permanent injury all the time. And you just got to run through it, and we expect them to be able to do the same. We've had guys in the past who've had a lot of pain and have completed the course. Come straight. It's no good walking a bit of bloody sideways. Get up, get past me, get some water. You're in here by the skinnier teeth. Get up here. You've got ten seconds. 
Big company number? Star. The reason why we have people do P company is a man can get in that plane and jump out of it, then get out, put heavy kit on his back, go 10 mile and still stay switched on. When you hear a shout from at the end, stand up straight, get your heads up. You know, don't put your weapons on the floor. We're looking for people who are staying switched on all the time. What are you doing sitting down? Get off your fucking ass. Switch on, otherwise I will bin you here and now. You fucking wise up, boy. 29 stuff. <coughs> Graham, I'll set the last one. Twenty-five here. Right, Bergen off. Warm kit on. Don't put your weapon down. It's safer now that we take them down and get them off the hill. Quite hard coming up here, and if we leave them now, they'll be even further behind the main pack by the time we get to the top, which becomes dangerous. We can't uh, man that, so we've got to take them down now, take them round to the T-stop, and then they'll continue from there on over Fan 4 and onto the high speed march. At the top of Penny Fan, people were in danger of getting just blown off the top. If we'd have stood up, I think a couple of us might have even gone over the edge. I suppose it was quite fun in a way if it wasn't under such testing conditions. It's gruesome. But it's over now and on to the next bit. After two mountain climbs totaling 3,000 feet and covering 10 miles, the course sets off yet again on the third test of the second day a 10 kilometer speed march. This time, everyone makes it to the end. With one more event to go, staff and students spend their last night in the camp. The scores so far are known only to the instructors. 1964. Yes, sir. 2352. Yeah. 2461? Yeah. 2867? Yeah. It's just one of those things. It's your last event, you're just going to grit your teeth and get down to it. Okay? Oh, Coaster. Fine. <laughs> I'm fucking on coming back to do it again if I fail. Once is enough, like, tried it, done it, failed it, fuck it. <laughs> no, look. 50 minutes up hill, and then you know, when you hit that, you're almost there. <laughs> You're almost in the wagon, <coughs> on the coach, going, going home. Here we go, judgment day is upon us. Stretch race, last event on P Company. Points to note, like the log race, this is a team event on which you are assessed as an individual. Do not think that if you get in with the winning stretcher, you will score good points, because there is no guarantee of that. Your only guarantee of good points this morning is to give 100% all the way around. I will tell you now, nobody here has yet done enough to pass this course. It does not matter how many points you think you might have got, if you do not perform this morning, you will fail. That goes for every man jack of you. You should have worked out by now that P Company is something to be done once and once only. You have one hour left on this course. Make sure it counts. We come down here 18 times a year, every year. We never want to see any of your hideous faces down here again. Get it out of the way, never to return. Good luck, work hard. Of course, course. Sean! In the stretcher race, two teams run for six and a half miles uphill. The stretcher is made from scaffolding poles and tank tracks. It weighs 140 pounds, 10 stone. The men take turns with the stretcher. Once again, number 23, on the left, in the front, is struggling. The injury he's been carrying all week has finally taken its toll. Another 10 points lost. Keep it going. 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 Keep it going.
Come on! He stretches and encapsulates what the course is all about. Get ready for the Get before, man! Get it up there! And by that stage, every man on the course really is verging on, on physical and indeed mental exhaustion. Get my arm up! And it is then that the strong characters come out and the weaker ones go to the wall. I have no doubt that for those young men going over that course, it's a, a pretty soul-searching and exhausting time. Well, that was well fucking organised, wasn't it? The second stretcher has fallen too far behind. The team has done badly. <laughs> Can you say? Not a lot. <laughs> Hurry up! This is the spit stuff. Spit, you may. Once across the finishing line, the instructor won't let them get away with it. Keep going! Keep going, boy! I will fucking teach you people to waste my shaggy time! Get some in! Those of you that will be coming back again, if you've got the guts to do another course, do not darken our doors unless you have the character and the guts to put a bit of work in. Some of you have blown it on that one event. You have not got what we require. Do not be surprised at the results tomorrow, gents. If everybody worked as a team, you would have won the race and won it well. The trouble is there's too many people willing to be carried by the remainder. Isn't there? 17. Too many people looking very fresh. And I point to you, come to attention, and give me your P company number. And a lot of you, and I saw the sound lanes you coming up there. I thought, oh my god. And I just opened my legs and gasped. Squeezing the lungs and so got in. Well, if you're in the middle, right? I was dead. Get out, get out! I'm very dubious. I just don't want to wake up tomorrow morning. Very dubious. 17. Felt. Copy. Not much room for fucking debate there, is it? Apart from that, though. Come again? Apart from that, sir, he's quite a good bloke. To come again, you think? Oh, yes, definitely, sir. We haven't come off anything, have we? So, uh, unless it's attitude, I think we might have survived this time. I'm six. Quite good all the way through, really, fitness-wise. But uh, as we as we saw on the stretcher, <coughs> it needs another word. Because I mean, when he goes up the road, if he's going to throw a tantrum or throw his teddy in the corner, yeah. if somebody's not performing, then he can't react in the way he did. Yeah. There's always somebody shouting, tab, 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 and else you're going to go, oh, come on, get your head off, get your head off. 31. Yeah, pass, sir. All right, where does it fail from the gymnasium? Roger. Yeah. You got that? Oh, I haven't been here. Yeah, I'll be with you, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'd like to think I've passed, but... As long as I live, there's no way I'll do this course again. Not a chance. For us, he wants to start... January. None of these men yet knows who's passed and who's failed. <laughs> Pass it around the table, man. That's for the start For all of them, there's one final public ordeal. Stop! Please do something. OK. I'm sure you are all aware what is required here, so without further ado, number 38. Sir. Pass. Sir. Number 31. Sir. Fail. Sir. Number 24. Sir. Fail. Sir. Number 23. Sir. Fail. Sir. Number 17. Sir. Fail. Sir. Number 12. Sir. Pass. Sir. Number 9. Sir. Pass. Sir. Number six. Sir. Pass. Sir. Number five. Sir. Pass. Sir. Number two. Sir. 
Of the 39 volunteers who began P Company, only 15 passed. Ahead of them, the parachute training, which finally earns the wings to go with the coveted red beret. Okay, I'll just open the door then. Let the old uh, wind rush in. Right, number one, come forward then, into the door. That's it, adopt the position. Your arm over the top of mine. That's it. Okay, look up, don't look down. Good lad. Okay, let's check the camera. Both arms across your reserve. Go! 1,000, 2,000, 3,000! Jack Canopy! Thank fuck for that! Okay, number two, let's see a good steer away from the cable. Come on, number two, let's see you steer away. When you've steered away, parachute position, assess your drift. A good all-round observation, and then steer away. Let's see a good steer away from the cable. Come on, number two, let's see you steer away. When you've steered away, parachute position, assess your drift. A good all-round observation, and then steer away.